So just a wee update on um, progress on the boat. So as we can see, new th thrust reversing bucket is completely broken off. That's apparently, uh, yeah, that's what happens when you go at full speed and drop it. Also managed to crack the rear unit right in there. I'm not sure if you can see that there. Yeah, there you go. And also because I didn't have the nut traps in there. So I should have had the nuts, the nuts in there. I didn't have that. So they've pulled that, pulled through a little bit. Um, another slight issue to fix is the glue join here. I've also managed to crash that, crack that slightly, just by hitting it on the rocks quite hard. It's been it's been hit quite hard, um, quite a few times, but it's holding up quite well so far. Um, the Impala doesn't like sucking up gravel. If you suck up gravel with it. It tends to ding the leading edge quite badly. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. It's got a couple of dings in there. Nothing major. But, um, it does happen. But, oh, it's all printed in colours stuff, so, you know, whip it out, loosen it up, put another one in, away you go. Oh yeah, I also dinged this corner on the rocks, spinning out. Hit it quite badly. Um, so it's leaking slightly. So what I'll do is I'll put a radius on all the all the lines inside here, just to really reinforce it and stop any of that sort of thing happening as easily. But other than that, the, the handling's beautiful. It goes well. Good top speed. Um, yeah, goes for quite a while. On the um, it probably goes for about well, what two minutes on these, just under ten minutes. Fun on these ones, you get oh, probably about 15 20 minutes runtime. Um, nothing incredible, but um, no, it goes good. Yeah, no, quite an enjoyable little little bike. It's been uh, been reliable so far. I've, I've started using ceramic bearings in there. So um, previously I had, had just a steel bearing in there and um, got a little bit of corrosion on there, not enough lubrication and next thing you know, at you know, 25, 30,000 RPM that thing just gets slogged out. So a ceramic bearing is in there at the moment, that's been holding up quite well. Had a bronze bushing on the rear here. Um, that held up for a while, but once I got the 4S batteries in there it started to slog it out as well really um, just, just wearing it out. So I've got a ceramic bearing in the back there as well and that seems to be holding up quite well. Um, the servos, I just opened them up, completely packed them with grease through the hole completely so they're waterproofed, um, both of those. Um, the separate water cooling loops for, for the motor and the ESC. Oh yeah, so for the vacuum bilge system uh, I've just experimenting, I've just got a, a little pipe glued into the side there, just drilled through and that pipe goes over here um, it's that little pipe at the, at the intake comes up here, goes hang on just a second goes up a loop here and then down and it just sits just at the bottom of the hole there um, at the bottom of the hole there oh, you can't see it like this and um, with a little grate on it to suck up water out of the boat to keep it dry so but that hasn't quite been working yet something I'm working on at the moment and hopefully that will be solved soon I'm testing out this um, flexible coupler I find it makes less noise than the universal joint I realize it probably over constrains the drive line because you've got two bearings in here and two bearings at the back here so there's probably quite a lot of force going on through those bearings. I know the bearings of this motor are yeah, just not the best. They've been way too wet way too often um, during all my all my testing and development phases. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the tolerances on them are quite high. And I, I'm gonna have to replace those anyway. So I'm not too fussed, not too worried, just just testing. So anyway, but I'd say this is just almost ready for release. Um, going to be reinforcing this, reinforcing just the thickness of all of that, 
Um, I'll definitely put nut traps in there. Like I said, I'm still finishing that vacuum pump system. Add radii on there. Maybe add um, joins, fatter, um, what do you call it? Just thicken the mating surfaces there so that the glue has a better adhesion um, to prevent cracking like this. Um, probably also add from, say here, about oh, 10, 10, 20 mil back. Just make it, make it solid from there on forward. So that if you have ram some stuff that's less prone to dinging, not going to get leaks, that sort of thing. Um, also been thinking about getting some rubber boots from, from the wire holes, but oh, it hasn't really been an issue. I don't think it's required. So yeah, no, good bit of fun. Good fun. Yeah. This is just um, some draft sealer I've got on here. There you can see. So that seals the lid on quite well these lids so it's just a laser cut three millimeter acrylic sheet um, with some two two parts two printed part that that goes together like that with the screw on the top so you just pop it down pop, pop all the tabs in the middle <coughs> a, bit, a bit tricky doing this one-handedly yeah just pop it down and then so push it down, turn it, just pop it under there. And you can see how, how it squishes down on that seal. That's, um, that's really sealing it there. So just, just a quick quick way to close it up and really have it watertight. Um, you can still see what's going on in there, which is quite nice. So Yeah, so nearly done. Hopefully um, once I get back from holiday, this holiday, I'll um, upload this video. And shortly after, once I made those changes, um, we'll go live and you guys will all be able to build one of these. So, um, yeah, thank you for, for watching and uh, see you around.